or dual algorithm. How does diffusing update algorithm actually works in order to calculate the best route possible? So there are a couple of terms that you need to understand is uh, like in dual, one of which is feasible. Sorry, one of which is you can say uh, feasible distance. And the other term is called as uh, advertised distance officially, but everyone re refers to it as a reported distance. So we call the first one as FD and the other one as RD. You can also refer to it as AD as well. Now, what is this FD and RD? let's say you have something like r1 if you enjoyed the content of the video don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel connected to r2 connected to r3 connected to r4 and in this there is like a metric that is actually being used let's say the cost uh, which is kind of a metric there from r1 to r2 is 10 from r2 to r3 is 10 from r3 to r4 is 10 and you want to go from R1 to R4. So what is going to be the FD that you're going to work with? FD, feasible distance, is the like total cost from source to destination, which in this particular case is going to be 30, correct? And what is going to be RD? The RD over here is calculated as the metric or the cost from next hop to the destination, which means FD is going to be this particular thing. And RD is going to be this particular thing. Makes sense from next stop to the destination. So you say RD over here is 20 and FD over there is 30. Now, when we say that, uh, I would say it works in like EIGRP is 100% low free protocol. There is a reason behind it as well. And we are going to talk about the same reason. But before that, uh, you also need to like figure that out, that there are a couple of other terminologies as well, which are called as, as successor. And the other one is called as feasible successor. OK, successor and feasible successor. So when you talk about successor and feasible successor, Successor is the best route that is available there. And feasible successor is the next best route that is going to be available. There can be multiple successors. There can be multiple feasible successors as well. But the routing table will only install successor and it will not install feasible successor if there is any current successor that is present, which simply means that there is a best route which is called as uh, successor. And a feasible successor is kind of a backup best route. If the successor goes down, then the feasible successor will become successor. Like exactly like that. So when you have a scenario there where let's say you have kind of a network, I will just take these terminologies over here. And let's say you have a scenario that you have R1. I will draw the same topology, R2, then you have R3, and then you have R4. And all of them are connected to R5. So the cost from R1 to R2, let's say it's like 10, and then it is 10 as well. Then you have 15 and 15, and then you have 35 and 40. These uh, are basically the costs that are there from both the links that are available. So now we want to go from R1 to R5. Now if you consider the like FD and RD calculations, we have multiple candidates now. So I'll just say that we have candidates, then we have their FD values, and then we have their RD values. And based on that, uh, we will be basically choosing that which one is the best route available. So we will then be considering 
the result. So the first route, the first candidate route that we have is from R1 to R2 to R5. The second candidate route is from R1 to R3 to R5. And the third candidate route is from R1 to R4 to R5. So what is going to be uh, the FT for the first candidate route? It is going to be 10 plus 10, right? which means it's going to be 20 and then the RD is going to be 10. Then the second candidate route has an AD of 15 plus 15, which is going to be 30. And then the RD is going to be 15 for that. And then we say the uh, third route, which is R1 to R4 to R5 is 35 plus 40. That is going to be 75 and then the rd is going to be 40 that's what the thing is so based on the scenarios and based on the values that you have there uh, the best route that is going to be installed into the routing table is of course the one with the lowest fd which is the first candidate route so that's why it's going to become successor it becomes successor there and then uh, the other routes or the backup routes that can be there a, have the ability to become feasible successor. But here's basically the catch that you have. There is also something else which is called as feasibility condition. There. You also have a feasibility condition there in order to become feasible uh, successor. It's not like that any route can actually become feasible success. There is a condition to it. So dual diffusing update algorithm uses a condition that in order to become a, for a candidate route to become feasible successor, the RD of the uh, candidate route should be less than the FD of successor. That's kind of the rule there. The feasibility condition says that the RD of the candidate route should be, or you can say must be, less than the FD of the successor there. What does it mean? For example, if this is kind of the candidate route that we have, start with this also yeah this is kind of the candidate route that we have so in this candidate route uh, our successor has an fd of 20 and rd of 10. so for a candidate route to become feasible successor the rd needs to be less than the fd of the current successor which means 15 needs to be less than 20 and then and then only it is going to become feasible successor in our case 15 of course is less than 20 so that's why the second route will be eligible for becoming the feasible successor. However, if you look at the third route, the third route has an RD of 40, and then the FD of uh, the, the successor is 20, which doesn't really satisfy the condition. That's why this is not going to become feasible successor. It's neither going to become successor nor feasible successor. So that particular route will be discarded or ignored by the router to be added into the topology table. Even though your neighbor might have given that particular route, considering that it's the best route that the neighbor has, but because you have other routes uh, which are far more superior than the one that is received containing the highest, uh, highest FD or RD, you are going to ignore that particular route from being installed into the routing table. Make sense? Any questions over here? Just one question, Abhijit. Mm -hmm. um, so instead of 15, uh, the, uh, 15, if it was 20 and the other one was... Even like, then as well, the, uh, it wouldn't have become the feasible success. The condition is not less than equal to, the condition strictly is less than. Less than. So there will be no feasible success, right? If there's no... Exactly. Okay. Exactly, yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, so this is how the thing actually works up for... Uh, the EIGRP calculation and that's that's something that you gotta work